Alright, right back with another video, once again showing the fact that Hinduism is not the peaceful pluralistic religion that we're, so oft, we're so much too often told that it is in the media or school system or Hollywood or, or anywhere else. The truth of the matter is that Hinduism is every bit as violent and bloodthirsty as the satanic false religion of Islam. So I'm going to read this article once again further proving my point on the matter. So it turns out that Muslims, Muslims over in Pakistan are not the only ones in that region who are doing forced conversions. The Hindus are also forcibly converting people to Hinduism. It says here in this article, uh, Christians in India being forced to convert to Hinduism. This was published on December 26, 2021. So just about seven to eight months ago. It's not, not too long ago. Uh, and it's still going on today, by the way. But it says here in this article, Hindu extremists are damaging places, the places of worship of the Christian community. Horrific revelations have, sur have surfaced in the U.S. or New York Times that Hindu extremists have damaged Christian places of worship and prevent them uh, from worshiping. The reason for the growing persecution of, Christian, of Christians is Hindu extremists thinking, quote, minorities consider themselves insecure, unquote. The report said that, a report uh, said and added that the Hindu extremists were forcing Christians in India to convert to Hinduism. They want to remove us from society, a Christian farmer said of Hindu extremists. Rising attacks on Christians are part of a broader shift in India in which minorities feel less safe. The New York Times revelations further said anti-Christian vigilantes are sweeping through villages, storming churches, burning Christian literature, attacking schools, and assaulting worshippers. In many, case, the many cases, the police and members of India's governing party are helping them. Government documents and dozens of interviews revealed that uh, uh, in church after church, the very act of worship it has become dangerous despite constitutional protections for freedom of religion. Well, it doesn't matter to the Hindu extremists because just like the Muslims, just like the Jews, just like the Papists, they want an earthly theocracy. There is no liberty of conscience or freedom of religion under a Hindu theocracy, a Jew theocracy, a Muslim theocracy, or a papal, a Papist theocracy because they're all trying to build earthly kingdoms. And what, what do you know about kingdom builders? Well, they're bloody killers. That's what they are. Kingdom builders are always bloody killers. But it says here, continuing on the article, facing death, Christians began to identify themselves as Hindus. Uh, Hindu extremist lawyers have repeatedly lodged complaints to shut down a Christian-run charity with Hindu extremist uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi massacring Muslims, also silent, on the genocide of Christians. Uh, the newspaper further added that the international community has, has serious concerns over the silence of the Indian Prime Minister over atrocities against mi the minorities. The Hindu extremist Modi wants to make India a nationalistic country. Well, like I said before, kingdom builders are bloody killers. That's what, it gets, what, that's what it gets down to. The, the Jews, the Muslims, the Papists, and the Hindus are all of the same Antichrist spirit. That's, that's the truth of the matter. That, you can call that Hindu phobia or Islamophobia or, or anti-Semitism all you want. That's the truth of the matter. And Jesus says in John chapter 18, verse 36, My kingdom is not of this world. Otherwise, will my servants fight? That's why biblical Christians are not trying to build an earthly kingdom. Because again, they're bloody killers. They would fight. So anyway, we wanted to point that out. Hinduism is not a peaceful, pluralistic religion. Hinduism is every bit as violent and bloodthirsty as the false religion of Islam. That's the truth of the matter. You can like it or lump it, but as Ben Shapiro would say, facts don't care about your feelings. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.